The Eastside Transit and HOV project uh, also is an exciting time. We completed our environmental process on this project and just this week we had our groundbreaking ceremony with our uh, contractor, Eastside Corridor Constructors, is the contractor that we identified as the best value in our design build procurement process. And we are working with them to award and execute the contract by the end of this year. This contract came in at $306 million. That was $116 million under the, our engineer's estimate. So I just want to take you back five years ago when Katrina had occurred and we had shortages in labor, we had shortages in supplies. We couldn't get con or we couldn't get asphalt. So the suppliers were really struggling in order to uh, pave our roads and maintain our highway systems all across the country. And at that time, bids came in 30% high. So now we're in a time where we get good financing in our corridor and the bids are very competitive. So we are experiencing basically a sweet spot if you're the owner. <laughs> so uh, this project uh, will be awarded, like I said, uh, by this fall in the next couple months and we'll begin construction uh, early next year and the corridor will be open by late 2014. So we're really excited about this one. Uh, let's see, so right now we're uh, Anticipating construction traffic management, we'll be using the smarter highway systems to manage it, but each way on the east side uh, will have two lanes open at all times during the peak periods, and we're uh, working to keep the HOV lane that's there today in the westbound direction open for transit. We actually have been acquiring property for the east side project for several years with people who are willing to work with us, and we've been able to acquire um, eight parcels so far. We also have a number of limited partial acquisitions up to 18 and we've been working to acquire those. And we have temporary construction easements and permanent construction easements that we are acquiring. So we're really excited to start that project. Just a little bit about our, our program when it comes to funding. Right now, if you look at state funding, federal funding and funding from tolling, we have $2.37 billion. Um, that will fund all the environmental work that we've completed and we have to complete. It funds the East Side Transit and HOV project and the critical link in the middle of the lake, the floating bridge. What's not funded is the construction generally in the Seattle side. And so we're gonna continue working to complete our funding on that side. The legislature has capped the cost of our program at 4.65 billion. And so just doing the simple math there, we're about $2 billion short for the rest of the program. All right. And I think, I think that's So um, I'm Kevin Wallace with the Bellevue City Council and to get us back on schedule, uh, make comments brief, but just wanted to take the opportunity to point out the significance of this project and the work and effort that the DOT has um, undertaken really for the last decade uh, or even longer on this. I, when was the original 520 corridor study? It was about 97? 98. Uh, 98? <laughs> so this has been going on for a long, long time. Um, and then the 405 um, master plan is the same length. And I think we saw last year what a great um, success the 405 work uh, through Bellevue has been and the, and the improvements that um, it's made on our, our traffic congestion through Bellevue and, and starting out to head down south. So we celebrate that success. I think the 520 plan, um, as realtors, I think, that in, and just taxpayers in general, there's, we should be concerned about the, the tolling that's coming. I think there's a lot of unknowns um, with respect to what people will choose to do when you impose a $3.50 charge on them, and there's 120,000, I think, cars going back and forth across that bridge today, where are they going to go? And I think um, the DOT's done a good job of trying to get at what's going to happen, but to some extent, I think it's just human nature, and there's no way to model that. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out next year, um, and we'll have to deal with that as it comes. Um, and I think, lastly, I just want to say that, that with respect to the city of Bellevue, um, and the constituents we have in Bellevue, the DOT has done a fantastic job 
of um, honoring the neighborhoods that are there, at looking at addressing and mitigating the impacts um, of the 520 bridge that's there today, which generates a lot of noise, and in um, trying to take and mitigate that noise impact when the bridge comes in tomorrow, and also really improving on things and creating these lids and, and nice park elements that go along with it. So in addition to improving our traffic flow, we're really doing a great job, the DOT is doing a great job of improving the, the neighborhoods that surround the freeway too. So a great success and really looking forward to seeing things come to fruition um, next year and in the years to come.